So when I bought my first embroidery machine and got the software, I saw some of these really nice font packs online. You could get 50 fonts for uh, $9.99, and I purchased a few. And then I found out I had to insert each letter um, separately and go through all that and line things up, and it, it tended to be a pain in the butt. So I ended up not using any of those purchased fonts. Well, in the new um, Premiere Plus 2 Ultra software, they have a font manager. And all you do is go to the font tab, and you click on the import font from Embroideries. And I'm going to use the magic wand. font that I already know that is in that folder and I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to browse out into the My Designs to wherever I'm keeping my fonts. Um, notice that these are PES files but they will work in your software. And you have to scroll down to the capital A. That's the important part. So the upper A here and I'm going to use the two inch and I'm going to say open. Now here is the line that the letter is going to set on. So if you wanted the, um, the letter to set with the this part of the section always on the line, you leave that line there. If you want this section to hang down under, below the line, um, you'd move the line up so it lines up with this section. Okay, that's the important part. And if you find out that you don't like the way you did it, um, you can go back, no problem, and edit that however you want. I noticed on one of my fonts that I um, imported in, the Y was a little off, so I just went back in and edited this line to where I wanted it to be, and it worked perfectly the next time. So once you've got that, all you do is keep another window open with your letters in there. You scroll down to the uppers. You make sure that you can see the keyboard and your window. And then you go and drag the B over and place it in the B. And the C, 2 inch, drag it over, put it in C. And notice how the bottom is lining up just perfectly with the bottom edge of that letter. Okay, so you do that, so on and so forth, right down through. And there's the E. See, that one would be a problem. So what I would do is move that line up and we're good to go. And F is another one that sometimes can give a little issue. Nope, that's going to turn in perfect. The other thing is when you get down to the lower case, you do the same exact thing. Lower A 2 inch, lower B 2 inch, lower C, 2 inch, and a lot of these um, alphabets even have um, symbols and explanation points and things like that in there. So all you have to do is click this arrow and find what you're looking for. I'm looking for an asterisk and I see it's in the second set of those letters. So I'm going to say asterisk 2 inch and drop it right in there. And that's what the asterisk looks like. Um, you have different things that you can use. There's a lightning bolt. Um, what you'd have to do is remember which letter you're using for that lightning bolt, but if you use that letter, it'll automatically come up. Here's your explanation point. I believe that was probably in the first section. Yep, 
at two inches. There we go. There's the explanation point. Um, you may want this as is. You move that line a little bit. And that's all there is to creating that alphabet. So that if I were to close this out right now and just type, you can see that it's in here, magic wand. So I close and I say that I want, and these are all the ones that I've imported so far. So there's magic wand. So A, B, C and apply and that's what it looks like so you can see where the line was that i put in there to match things up if i wanted to move it i still can still go in there say i wanted the a to be a little bit different so i go into the font manager magic wand i edit imported font there's that a and I can say, ooh, I want it here now. And I say close. And you can actually see how it corrected it right there. The other thing that you might want to be aware of is that some of these fonts, you've done them, maybe you don't like them, you want to get rid of them, you can just click on that font and hit delete and it will get rid of it. Some fonts you may only want parts of a font, like uh, Wingdings or something that was in that font collection. So I'm deleting that font for now, and I'll do the whole thing later. So that's basically how you do those fonts, and it's really cool. Um, I use a site called um, Designs by Windmill on Etsy, and they have some really neat fonts on there. They have individual letters that you can get, and they have whole font sets. So um, there's all kinds of fonts out there if you go looking. So hope you know how to import your fonts now. Okay, thanks. Bye.